Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, what do we do to start the class? Every class, how do we start the class? Remember, turn on your camera, guys. Sixteen, seventeen. Let's wait. Okay, okay, okay. There was a gala event held for the museum's most generous benefactors. Okay, I think we're ready. How many are we? We are 17. Let's get doing that's done. Let's get this done. Let's get this done. Okay. Um Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Thank you. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Carla. Present. Oh, oh, okay, good. <laughs> Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Evelyn Al Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martínez. Present. Thank you, Fátima Ifegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Okay. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present, teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present, teacher. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Reina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Seventeen we are. Okay, how come we are 20 and I count 17? Okay. So let's start the class. Remember yesterday? Remember yesterday. Okay, we had a homework about um, a menu, right? You had to prepare a menu so you can discuss it here in the class, okay? I saw an example from Juan Marcos, great job. So we have appetizers, snacks, main course, desserts, and drinks. Excellent. Now question, what about the rest? Mm -hmm. Do me a favor, go to the emojis go to the emojis and put an emoji if you did the homework if you did your menu put an emoji if you did your menu good marco okay of course william you did the homework okay come on 
Is that <laughs> is a sad face because you didn't do it or you did you do it? Yeah, I did. So nobody did the homework, really? Just Juan Marcos, one applause for Juan Marcos, please. I just can't believe it. Wow, guys. Okay. Hey, you're going to have just six minutes, okay? Six minutes to create one menu per group. Look at Juan Marcos' example on WhatsApp. Look at Juan Marcos' example on WhatsApp. Please collaborate with your classmates. How many are we? We are 20. 21, so we should be trios or groups of four, I think. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. Should be seven. Okay. Let's try. Let's go. Okay. Let's create our own menu. Start to work. Hello, good evening. Hello. No. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, uh, I I didn't. I I didn't uh, do do no I I yesterday I didn't uh, come to class yeah from the class <laughs> uh -huh. what is uh, the activity right now we have to do a a menu oh okay page thirteen page thirteen okay yep. Because if I, if I can, can say um, mariscada, it can be streams, cream sauce. Mm. I will say uh, seafood soup. Seafood soup. Okay. A la creme. The one from La Curva de Don Jerez is delicious. Yeah. It's really good. Okay, start working. Starter. 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 Um, what else? Ding? No. Green. Green. Beverage. Beverage. Oui. <laughs> what else? Um, salad? Oh. Well, I believe this is uh, like a uh, starter. So. This is um, courses in courses. Main courses. Mm -hmm. Um, of course. And in courses. Luis, garlic nuts. Uh, garlic bread. No. Ah, garlic bread. Yeah. Correct. Uh, yeah. so, main courses, main courses. Uh, no, no, when you go to a restaurant, they have sometimes a, a typical dish, for example. Salmon. Ah, 
Uh, in El Salvador, for example, the beans with uh, meat and uh, how do you say? Casamiento, uh huh? Pero no sé si decimos el nombre. Rice and beans. Rice and beans and plátano frito, fries, banano. Fried bananas or fried bananas. plantains. Okay. This is a typical dish in that, that, that I know, but I don't know it's oh. yeah. Appetizer green salad. Mm. Yeah. Almost is costilla de baby baby ribs. Uh, Mm. Another another main course. Aquí le escribí. Courses. Baby ribs. Eh. Fish. Toma, toma <laughs> half. Huh? Spaghetti. ¿Cómo? Spaghetti. Ah, spaghetti. Spaghetti. ¿Cómo se escribe spaghetti? Spaghetti. Spa, no. Spaghetti. I don't know. And in español. Chilaquilas. I I don't. Your win is gonna be typical. Typical. Uh, Mexican food. Mexican food, but but I have we have a questions. For example, quesadillas and the, this word in Spanish or English. Is there I, any specific word for quesadillas? No. <laughs> no. Uh, gringas. Oh. <laughs> I mean, but it's up to you. I mean, um, I will say I will suggest you to use. American names for food. Mm. Mm. Okay. Drinks? Drinks. What about drinks? Beverages. Oh. Or beverages. Or beers. <laughs> Wine. Tequila. <laughs> Tequila. Tequila, yeah. Tequila. What else? Mm. Is there margaritas? <laughs> margaritas. 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 Mm -hmm. What? Cider. Green. Green and cider. Oh. Thanks, cider. Okay. <clears throat> um, in Shila, uh, we have another question. Shila Kilas. Okay, the uh, thing is that those are proper names from Mexico. Oh, so if you're building a, a no. Mexican menu, uh, what you can do or what you should do is describe the dish. That's what mm. they do. Oh. That's what they do in the States. If you, if you have um, a foreign dish, mm -hmm. they say kebab, kava, for example. They say kebab. And in parentheses, they put the description, you know, meat, uh, riff, uh, riff cheese, meat, beef avocado. with cheese, uh, avocado, huh? Uh, okay. Oh, okay. that's right. Okay. Yeah, because you cannot order what if you don't know what you're going to eat, right? <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Mexican Sandra. Toast, toaster, toaster. Oh, toaster. Sandra, 
Sandra grow on chat onion soup, desserts, apple pie. Yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, American foods. Hamburger, clam chowder, sopa de almejas, okay, bagel, bagel, and lox. I just looked for some typical dishes in the States. Texas barbecue, how many grits? Mm. Or how many grits are from corn? It's corn. Right. It's, uh, it's it's options, right? Okay, but you do your thing. Do your thing. If it's Mexican, it's Mexican. Don't worry. You can call it torta. <laughs> it's okay. Taco. Hey, what's the name? What's the name of the restaurant? Oh, uh, we uh, donkeys. Donkeys. Okay. Donkey. Donkey food. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. Um like hot drink hot drink. Go with meal. No, coffee with meal, cappuccino, express, american, hot chocolate, and los snacks. Habíamos puesto que eran ¿Cómo se decían? Churros. Nacho, pues eh, nacho. Ah, nacho. Eh, ice cream. <laughs> Hamburgers popcorn. popcorn. Those are snacks. <laughs> they call them snacks. And that's it. Sorry, teacher. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. The menu uh, is hot drinks. Include menu. The menu. 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 Include hot drinks, teacher. Includes hot drinks, okay. It's Coffee okay. With meal, cappuccino, express, tea, and American, hot chocolate, tea, and the drinks, drinks, and wheat wine, red wine, beers, mm. and Tequila. soft drink, Coca, Coca Cola, Fanta, Pepsi, and yeah. water. Just soda, <laughs> sodas. It's okay. okay. Okay, okay, good. Have you? I can take a photo. If yeah, if you have it, take a picture of it. Send it. Okay. That's okay. So yeah. I think that we, yeah, I think that we have a lot of information about it. Yeah, this one is so complete, like the other one. That uh, yeah. I feel Hi, teacher. Snacks. Hey, snacks. Okay. <laughs> so it's drinks, mineral water, fresh. We were orange. using some examples that we found on internet. Internet. Okay. Yeah. Indeed. But this one is is really completed. We were talking about the snacks that here in the Salvador is like uh, boquitas. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Um, with Liliana, we were talking about that some places um, confuse that the snacks is everything that they sell. For example, that the Chapultepec sells everything like snacks. Mm. Yeah. Hey, because you, you, you go there to drink, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but we're talking about that. That is considered like a, a snack because you only pay $1.99 for a little bit. A little hamburger. Mm, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. So if you're ready, we're almost ready, actually, right? It's good. Give yeah. me just just a minute. Este. Okay. 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 <laughs> Don't stop. Continue, Rina. <laughs> We need to continue in English. <laughs> yeah. Not because, not because I'm here, it's yes. because yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you have to speak. That's the whole point. 
Les estaba contando que a mí me cuesta mucho entenderlo cuando, el inglés cuando lo escucho. O sea, yo estoy tratando de entender algunas palabras, yo trato de hablarlo, escribirlo, ese, leerlo, pero me cuesta identificar las palabras. La, algunas personas lo hablan, lo hablan algo rápido, entonces eso es lo que me cuesta bastante identificarlo, pero les digo a ellos que es parte de, de la falta de práctica. La Esa es la verdad. <ríe> y me culpo. Y me <ríe> sigo diciendo y me sigo repitiendo que me cuesta, y me cuesta, y me cuesta. Claro que me va a costar, ya me convencí de que me cuesta. <ríe> Y por eso mi cerebro dice, no, no me, cuesta, me cuesta, mejor lo que me cuesta lo de un lado. Y siempre es así con todo. Entonces, mejor decir, no, hombre, esto es tan fácil, esto es tan fácil, esto es tan fácil. Es fácil, es fácil. Sí, me gusta que ya, no lo vayas a hablar, están hablando bastante fluido. Y eso me encanta porque yo voy tratando de familiarizarme con él. Y aseguro así que ya que... entiende lo que pasa, es que hay que botar esa barrera. <risa> Y, pasar, y hacer el ridículo, según uno, ¿verdad? hacer el ridículo. No, hombre, chile, usted hable, equivóquese, aquí nadie se va a reír. Si todos estamos aprendiendo. Ok, don't worry. Ok, are you ready? Yes, teacher, but. Ok. Yeah, you can use Juan, Juan Marcos' um, example, right? Great job. So, just to explain to the class how's your menu, ok? What is included in your menu, ok? Let's go, let's try it. Let's see how it goes. Okay, teacher. Okay, ready? Sort of. Sort of ready, okay. Who wants to be first? Who wants to somebody. go first? Somebody, somebody. Somebody somewhere. Come on. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Appetizers, snacks, main course, dessert, desserts, and drinks. Okay, remember it's beverages. Beverages. There was another word you were saying. Main course, main course, snacks. I forgot the other one. Okay, okay, who wants to start? In my group, for example, we did. Like a starter, like vegetable soup, tortilla soup, main courses, chicken and rice, fish and salad, tacos, desserts, vanilla pie, chocolate pie, lollipop, ice creams, and also breakfast. Breakfast. Um, pancakes with honey, scrambled eggs with so sauce, sauce, snack, and uh, sandwich, and fried potato, fried beverages, <laughs> beverages, mm -hmm. beverages, coffee, chocolate, milk, tea, beer, lemonade, cappuccino, smoothie. That's it. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Okay. Next group. Okay, I'm just gonna play something really quick for you. Um, so you can hear something. I'm gonna give you a link. Okay, a link to a website that will allow you to improve words that you don't know, you don't know how to say, right? When you don't know how to pronounce, how to pronounce properly a word, you can visit this website and you will find many videos. I'll tell you how. 1934, but it was for cold beverages. And in 19... 19... 
volcanic alcoholic beverages, things like that. Well, clearly I take a lot of beverages. Uh, <laughs> but and sadly, some of our most favorite foods and beverages. Beverages. By increasing consumption of sugar-sweetened beverages made from scarce... Beverages. Alcoholic beverages, they have selected... Beverages. Exactly. So it plays a role in many alcoholic beverages. It does, but in scotch and... Beverages. Room, facilities, food and beverages and so on. Okay, this website is called Yooglish. Yooglish. I'll send you the link right now. This is just for you to introduce one word, not the whole sentence, just one word, okay? So if you don't know how to pronounce it, you will get thousands of videos, thousands of videos. And you can go playing with it, you know, move the video, next video, next video from YouTube, next video. It has subtitles and everything. Step number one, select U.S. Select U.S. for the accent. Don't select A.U.S., Australian. Don't select U.K., United, United Kingdom, right? So just select U.S., United States accent. And you will get thousands of videos. So you can jump next, next, and the subtitles are at the bottom. So you can hear the word, exact word. Got it? Got it. Okay. Good. Sé que algunos tal vez quedaron un poquito, pero este, este sitio es por palabras. No es la frase completa en la que vas a introducir. Primero seleccionas el um, acento, que sea US, metes la palabra, le das enter, y te van a empezar a salir miles de videos con personas hablando, haciendo ponencias en videos, hablando naturalmente y diciendo esa palabra exactamente la que tú estás buscando. Te recomiendo buscar palabras difíciles como comfortable, comfortable, y te vas a dar cuenta que comfortable tiene dos pronunciaciones, comfortable, comfortable, o comfortable, comfortable, ok, two different pronunciations, another one, schedule, schedule, schedule. right, uh -huh. schedule. It's, it's, schedule. that's the point, it's not casual, <laughs> Como muchos queso. dicen, muchos dicen queso. Okay. No, listen, y ese es el problema. Queso. Muchísimas palabras en inglés empiezan con S. Entonces te recomiendo agarrar aire queso. y soltarlo entre los dientes. Schedule. 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 Entonces lo bueno de esto es que puedes verle la boca a alguien que está ahí en el video. Y retroceder y volverlo a ver. Si te gustó ese video, retrocedes y lo volvés a ver. No te gustó, le das al siguiente. A veces sale Obama, por ejemplo. Me llega como pronuncio Obama. Articula cada palabra. So, travesía es esa página ahí. Te voy a ir dando más links para que tú vayas practicando. Okay? Next. Who is next? Alexander. Someone who was not on your group. Mm. I want to Yoselin. 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 Okay, tell us about your menu. Okay. Uh, well, Fernando Cosme, do you want to share the information that we did? Sure. Okay, that, perfect. Let me share my screen. Thank you. Okay, just one moment, teacher, please. Okay, we work with, with uh, Fatima and Fernando, and we, uh, the name of restaurant is Silva Restaurant. In this restaurant, we serve appetizer. We can offer different kinds of menus, like green salad, chicken wing, tortilla soup, and onion loaf. And we offer also a snack that is fried with cheese, garlic nut, garlic bread, and also mini burgers. And for the main course, we have a brick, tomahawk, spaghetti, tiriyaki chicken, salmon with potato, and chipotle For the part of the dessert, we offer apple pie, cheese, brownie, blueberry pie, 
in for the drink we have frozen beer horchata mineral water soda lemonade and orange juice that's all okay repeat mini burgers mini mini burger bur 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 burgers Let's mini burgers. Burgers. No? Burgers. burgers. Mini burgers. Burger. Mini burgers. Okay. Um, let's try it. Let's see. Don't trust me. Sorry? Don't trust my accent. Let's see. Mini burgers. Mini burgers. Mini burgers. burgers. Mini burgers. Be careful with that word because you can think that the second one has a U. Okay, so repeat mini burgers, bur burgers, mini burgers. There you go, mini burgers, blueberry pie, blueberry pie, blueberry pie. Okay. Orange juice. Orange, orange juice. juice. Orange, orange juice. juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. Excellent. Orange juice. And then you say orange juice. Orange juice. Orange juice. Good job. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. are welcome. Okay. Um, let me try this again. We had them flip burgers in our restaurant. Burgers. In a city and eating burgers and drinking beer. Burgers. In our modern world of drive through burgers, it's. She said burgers. Cheeseburgers and sweet potato fries. Burgers. Michael Burgers. He has. Michael Burgers. Seven. Good burgers. <laughs> That's Obama. <laughs> See? Okay. Let me do it again. Uh, backyard barbecue out in Marion, way back in 2007. Good burgers. Yeah, uh, good I did burgers. Not have as much burgers <laughs> seriously guys follow obama he's got very good accent good job okay who is next jocelyn Isela. <laughs> okay. my friend yay okay go thank you jocelyn thank you you're welcome my friend <laughs> Okay, I think that I'm going to have some problem with the pronunciation. Um, Turn on your camera. Okay, but let me start with the starters. Okay, we have tomato soup, uh, French onion. I don't know the correct pronunciation of uh, soup or soup? I don't know if it's if it the correct one, French onion soup. Okay, I'm going to continue and then you are going to, to correct me, right? So, tomato salad, chicken salad, and for main courses, we have German sauce and chips, grilled fish and potatoes, Italian cheese and tomato pizza, Thai chicken and rice. And also we have snacks to the uh, cheese burgers and Vegetable omelette, chocolate cake, um, chicken sandwich, and we have desserts. Dessert, yeah, desserts. Oh, desserts. I don't know. And we have on that um, option fruit and salad and cream, ice cream, um, lemon cake chocolate cake, cheese, and biscuit. And for drinks, we offer mineral water, fresh orange juice, soft drinks, English tea, and Irish cream coffee. That's it. Perfect. Okay. You, for me, you are on the right spot right now for technical English. So you're good. You're very Thank good. You. You're welcome. Okay. Let's see. I like doing this sometimes. Let's see. 
And then one of my favorite courses in any meal, desserts. Desserts. Cake is one of our favorite desserts here at Tasty. Desserts. We do You'll still crave those desserts and other sugary f Desserts. Uh, to put in a lot of different desserts and other sweet Desserts. So where's the stress on the word desserts? Second E. Dessert. The second? Serves. Serves. Dessert. Yeah, dessert. There is the stress. What is Don't the other forget. one? Desierto? Desert. 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 Yeah, that's different. For Desert. One for S. For the reason, I'm not, I'm not sure when I'm trying to pronounce <laughs> Yeah, you get confused no. easily. That's true. Yeah. Uh, there's another word. You, you, will, you will think that one word can give you a headache, but yeah, I heard so many people saying water, just the way you did. You said water. And I territorial. You do not want to mess with a hippo or a rhino or a water buffalo. Water the buffalo. bison in you. Okay, water. We don't, in California, we don't have a water problem as much. Water. We're in right now, the serene water. The serene and the key water. processing step only requires soap and water. Water. Wow. And the regions are um, as small as Whitewater, Wisconsin. Whitewater. And then he could access the water from the water. Americans say water. British say water. Okay. I tend to say water. I love your, I like this water. This water is good. Okay. Three different ways. But the point is pay, pay attention to what you're saying and that's it. Good job. Who is next? Okay, Isela, who's next? Um, let me see. Um, I'm not sure. Let me choose a guy. Johnny Vladimir. Johnny. Okay, thank you. Teacher, but uh, my group said the meaning. I had to repeat. Okay, select someone else. You know what, Johnny, um, select, select someone else from another group. Yeah. Uh, yours. Uh, uh, Sandra. Okay. Sandra, Sandra, Sandra. Sandra Elizabeth, hey. <laughs> Her microphone doesn't work. Okay, well, let's leave it there, guys. Let's continue um, with our book. Tonight. So that was basically talking about menus. Uh, but in reality, do you check the menu when you go to a new restaurant? I mean... What's the first thing that you notice on a menu? The price. <laughs> the price, right? We are poor. We are poor. So we check the price. Of course. Okay. Repeat. Ideally. 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 Did you, did you notice? Did you notice that word? Ideally. Idealmente. Idealmente. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's the meaning. But the pronunciation, the pronunciation of this word, ideally, ideally. Okay, ideally, ideally, each category should feature three or four items. Ideally, each category should feature three or four items. It doesn't say future. Should feature three or four items. Always be curious, be curious with the vocabulary that you find. Okay, let's start. What would, do you remember would? By the way, what's the meaning of would? In Spanish or in English? Let's do it in Spanish to make it clear. What's the meaning for, of would? It's like, yeah. The suggestion? Oh my God, good, yes. Would is the termination, ria. Okay, that's wood. Wood by itself 
means nothing. Okay. It doesn't hold a meaning like could or should. Right now, this guy affects directly any verb. It affects directly any verb. And what happens when you add would to a verb? What comes, happens? You know, uh -huh. Comes a suggestion or possibility? Hmm. Suggestion or, or polite. possibility? Polite. ¿Qué dice el público? Uh -huh. mm, what about maybe an obligation? An obligation. No. What happens? Or What's possibility? Permission of possibility, yes. How, do, how does it sound if I tell you would introduce? Would uh -huh. introduce. What's the meaning of would introduce? Introduciría. Introduciría. Would jump. Possibility. Unreal. An unreal situation. Okay. So let's think about it. What will you do to introduce, introduce, a new menu item. That's the word. You're saying menu. Okay. <laughs> Many of you are saying me menu. No. Menu. Menu. Uh -huh. A new menu item. What will you do to introduce a new menu item? What do you think about giving free samples of new products? Like, does that ring any bell? Does that ring any bell? Sort of. <laughs> what 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 idea comes to your mind? Okay. What bell does it ring? Uh huh. What bell? Free samples. Free samples. That that this for me is Free like samples. a brand in my head. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh. When you go a uh, piece of food, a piece of food, yeah. But what what bell does it ring? I mean, does that ring any bell when you go to the okay. supermarket? Uh, yeah. For example, in the supermarket, like, for example, cheese. Not the try. Cheese with snacks. Cheese with snacks, right? Crackers with cheese. Yogurt. Yogurt. Hey, yogurt. Yogurt. Okay. When you go when you go to Walmart, they even cook chorizo mm, yeah. and all that sausages they cook sausages Sandwich. sandwiches and they go like hey you want to try um tuna tuna salads so you can dip oh my god okay do yeah. you what do you think about giving free samples of new products yes or serving come again this is a way to good idea Good idea. It's, it's a good like idea. A... Cheesecake. Cheesecake. It's Cheesecakes. Like... Uh huh. It's I... like. Um... I don't remember the word, but it's like. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Let me stop you Pancho. for a minute. Let me stop you for a minute. I want you, as I said at the beginning of the course, I want you to think from now on, from this moment and on, the rest of the modules of intermediate think. In two, in two different contexts. You are a customer or you are the owner of a company. Okay, got it? A customer or the owner of a company. So one perspective. From the perspective of a customer, what do you think about giving free samples of new products? As a customer, what do you think about the free samples? We can uh, taste a new products or is something like, do you eat or you, you do, don't have ever eat? But you have uh, never tried. Never tried. Come on, let's, let's be problem. honest. Let's be honest. Let's be yeah. honest. <clears throat> what, do you do? what do you do when you see someone at Walmart or Selectors and goes like, hey, want to try? <laughs> Free food. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Like every food, free food. Right? And you try it. 
Do you buy it's it? It's attractive. It's attractive to the, because they want to, hey, I want to, to taste it. Zero, zero times. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but question, do you buy the product? Sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Yeah. Hardly, hardly ever. <laughs> Have if you like it? I buy it. Okay. Have you ever lied? Oh yes, give me two. <laughs> <laughs> and at the register, you go like, no, that, no, no, that, no, put it away, please. No, I'm not taking that. <laughs> I'm going to ask to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna no, ask my mom. You've never done that? Oh, come on. Okay, so that's the point. Now that you got the customer perspective. Think as a as an owner of a product of a company. What do you think about giving free samples of new products from your company, your product? What do you think? For, for the owner, it's it like an investment. Or I, need to, I need to buy more products. Yeah, like for get, for make more customers. To uh, reach. To, to reach. reach. Okay. To reach more customers. I like it's that. Like, it's like a hook. It's a hook. A hook? Yeah. Hook, okay. Yeah, hook. It's like some sort of hook. Okay. Yeah. It's a hook for customers. Let's go fishing. I like that idea. And what about the uh, items about to expire? Items about to expire. Products about to expire. Can you give them a sample? Mm -hmm. Expire. Expire. For example, we're in July 9th. The products, this batch, pay attention, this batch of products of products is about to expire. Do you understand this concept? Product batch of products? Yeah. Yeah. Right? This batch of products is about to expire. Let's do something. What do you do? Sell them, buy three, no, buy three, pay one, buy three, pay one. Okay, um, let's give free samples. Re replace with? The price will be lower because it's about to expire. Right, you have to sell it, get the cost, get the cost of the product. So think in that concept, okay? Figure it, figure it. So let's go together and again, what would you do to introduce a new menu item? In my case, if I had a restaurant to introduce a new menu item, I will conduct a survey maybe. If I have um, loyal, listen, if I have loyal customers, I will conduct a survey. I will praise, listen, I will praise my customers Ask them, hey, want to participate on a survey? Okay. Give me your email. I will send you the survey. If you complete the survey, next time you come, you get a 10% off on your next meal. Oh, my God. 10% off on my next meal. And I come here very often. Okay. Good. How does it sound? Then I get a clear Example, a clear idea of my market. What do you think about shrimp soup? What do you think about shrimp pupusas? Okay, do you like them? Good. What do you think about giving the free samples, uh, giving free samples of new products? Well, I think it's a good strategy. It's a good strategy. Once I want to introduce the product, have a few customers. You know what? You are my most loyal customer. Try this. It's free. It's on the house. Have a pupusa, a shrimp pupusa. Did you like it? Okay. More cheese? Sure. More cheese. More shrimps? Okay. Good. So, surprise me. Give me your ideas. Be creative. Answer these two simple questions in the most creative way you can, okay? You have 10 minutes, work with your classmates and answer these two questions. Got it? Yeah. Alguien se perdió? Are we clear? No? Yes? We're done. You're done. 
Do you do? It's clear. It's clear. Okay. Page 14. Questions to start. Okay. Let me recreate the groups really quick. Let's go. Hi, can you hear me? Number is just a conversation with two questions. Okay. <laughs> what would you do to introduce a new menu item? Hi, right, people. Make mistakes, try it, try to uh, express yourself. Mm -hmm. in, in my case, uh, teacher, I try to, for example, if you buy five proposal, for example, I give you, I give you one more. <laughs> of the new product. And yeah, the new product. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you buy four, I will give you one more of the new product so you can try it. Okay, with food, it sounds simple, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we're talking about food, just menus. Okay, what do you think, William? It's similar for me if you want one, maybe one item uh, the other is 50 percent 50 percent okay okay continue talking there's a second question come on and ice cream because it is so cold right you're going to sell yeah. uh, uh, an ice cream, a new flavor of ice cream. Maybe it will, it will be a uh, frustrating to no no one's buy it, right? Maybe a new brand of coffee or or flavored coffee with I don't know. It, it depends of the the place. Of the place where you have the the restaurant. The restaurant, yeah. Or Happy. Yeah, but I think that first should be to to ask to your personal. I like it. Or are the customer requesting to to add in the menu, and then you can find a way to be... to add that information in the menu. Um, I don't know. Request then a feedback from the the consumer about must... the, the new product. You must identify the the place, the people around. It. They give you um, an idea which could be the the product that you could use. Can be, and for example, and um, the coast and um, Surf City, for example, you can sell um, a new kind of beer. Uh, everything that it could be and freeze i don't know what okay what do you what do you think is a dishes
Can you repeat? I don't, I don't understand that. I pray. Let me see. Um, social media in the fan page. You share, you see social media for fishing mm -hmm. customers. <laughs> okay. Pictures of the new dish. Pictures. Mm. Pictures of the new dish. Mm. We we can add a, a portion of the product in every order or of customers for or for customers in every order for customers. I think it depends on the food, right? The type of food. If it is a dessert, if it is a dessert. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. It's kind of depends. Hmm. It depends on the kind of food. Yes. Offer, and offer, the, offer, and the kind of customer. Yeah, offer the, the promotion. I think that. That would be a good way. Okay. Okay. Let's see what the rest have to say. That was enough. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, where are the rest? 14 seconds. They're very entertained having a conversation about these two topics. Okay, so we're talking about menu, we're talking about food. So, what will you do to introduce a new menu item? It will be the most creative. Let's vote. Let's vote, okay? I need three participants to say their idea. I have a crazy idea. Go, Juan Marcos. Okay. I would like to, to introduce in my city uh, a special food, interesting, I don't know, pupusa or shells. Maybe it's possible. Pupusa or? He, he means that, that mix the like cheese and something related with the, with the, I don't know what is the name of, in English, pero cocteles de concha. What? That's crazy. Oh my God. So how would you, how would you do that? What's the idea? How would you, uh, okay, I'm your customer. Okay. You have yeah. the product. Listen, this is very important. You already developed the product, right? You have the product. Now I'm your customer. The first customer to try Shells, pupusa. A pupusa made of shells. Uh, oh my God. Okay. So. You don't like it. <laughs> go ahead. Tell me. What are you going to tell me? Convince me to try the pupusa. Okay. It's... This is a new product. Never, never you could see. Uh... Another place only in Sorcerio, okay? Mm -hmm. we, we need to try because the only one in the world. unique is unique. Okay, I will go like eight. Hey, this is marketing. Do you like do you like shells cocktails? 
he likes shells cocktails, you know, with fish and everything. And I was we like, yeah, with a beer, right? Oh, okay. So what do you think about a shell pupusa? Want to try? <gasps> shell pupusa. Oh, my God. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Funny. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Well, do you like the pupusas? Do you like do you pupusas? Like pupusas? Do you like pupusas? Do you like pupusas? Yes, I do. And cocktails? I love cocktails. Why you don't fusion both and give two for one? Maybe sure, try it. sure. Let's try them. It will be a great idea. Yeah, that's Marketing. a great idea. Are you producing those pupusas? Actually, no. We are developing. <laughs> oh, Perfect. good. Hey, but that's a great idea. I'll try them. Okay. You're the first one. <laughs> okay, there you go. That's the idea. You're doing marketing or pre-marketing of an idea. That's a great idea. Okay, that, so that's the first one. Who's next? Second thought. Your second proposal for a new product into a menu. Come on, come on. Don't be quiet. Don't stay quiet, Sabrina, Jocelyn. Fatima, Fernando, Reina, Carla, Miguel. I'm mentioning everybody. Johnny, Sandra, mm. Melvin. Come on, guys. Miriam. Renee, introduce the new product. Yeah, Johnny. What would you do to introduce a new product to the menu? Okay. So I, I, I studied the uh, demand of my product and the product. Uh, with a higher demand. And I offer in, for example, if you buy three, this, that product and give away one of a new product. So two for one? <laughs> yeah. Two for, two for one on a new product. Okay, sure. Yeah. You know, I'm a stingy person, I'm stingy. So I'm thinking I'm going to save money. I'm going to save money. So yeah, let's go. That sounds good. It's a deal. You got a deal. Hey, you got a deal. Yeah. You understand that, guys? You got a deal. Yeah. Okay. okay. But, it's not, but it's not a big deal. It's not <laughs> a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a big deal, but it's not a big deal. Okay, I like that. Okay, you got a deal. Okay, so shell pupusa. What's the other one? Just two for one. Okay, one more idea. Okay. For example, in, in on my group, in my group, uh, in this case, for this question, it's like, a, for example, um, if you try our products, and you fill out our service, you are going to get a special discount in the next purchase or in the next visit, right? Okay. You just need to try. This is a, a good product and it's a new product. And we need to we need to learn about your opinion. We want your feedback, totally. We yeah, want your like feedback. Okay. So we have th three different strategies. Number one, Marketing strategy, developing the product first, see what impact it has on the opinion of your customer. Number two, just throw in the, the, the product to the market, try it with an offer. Okay, you have an offer, two for one. And the last one, conducting a survey. Conducting a survey about the product, which is very similar to the first one. But what do you think? What's the best option, guys? Okay, again, use your emojis on your app. Go to your Zoom app. Let's vote. Who says, Shell Pupu says, idea, marketing strategy from Juan Marcos. Put your emoji on the screen, please. We're 22, of course. One, two, one, three. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Three. Four, uh oh, just four votes. Okay, four points. 
five points. Okay, you got five points, Juan Marcos. Okay, the second strategy, given two products for, okay, given a 50%, wait, <laughs> given a 50% on the products. Show me your emoji. Okay, William says one point, two points, Fernando, three points, Jocelyn, four points, um, Elvin, five points, Miguel, six points, Rene. That's it. Okay, Sabrina, seven points. That's it. Okay. Okay, Johnny, you 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 got this first place so far, and the last option was which was conducting a survey to get the customers' feedback prior to prior to throwing the market to I mean the product to the market. So Carla says that's a great idea conducting a survey. Wells, okay, Justin, don't laugh. Okay, two, Fatima, three. <laughs> Just three. Okay. Johnny, you got the first place. Woo. Thank you. Sabrina, give her the prize. <laughs> okay. Se lo llevo. ¿Cómo era la canción de Francisco? Se lo llevo. <laughs> I can't remember. Come on, guys. Okay. Let me do the attendance one more time and then we move on. Okay. A la Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Excellent. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Okay, Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespín. Evelyn Arcides Aguizabal Martinez. It looks like a Q, but it's a G. Elvin. Elvin Arcides, perdón, Aguizabal Martinez. Aguizabal. Eguizabal. Eguizabal. Necesito lente. Sorry, guys. So seriously. No oh, <laughs> my God. Okay. It's a normal. It's a different type of day. <laughs> okay. Fátima <laughs> Ifegenia López Ramos. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Okay. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. Okay. Jose Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Okay. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Excelente. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Excellent. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Thank you. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Yvette Romero Avelino. Johnny... Present. Oh, good. Okay. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present. Jose Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. Jose Ángel Martínez Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Thank you. Um, un paréntesis, chicos. Recuerden que no es tanto que si vengo o no vengo a la clase, sino la cantidad de minutos que al final del curso me va a sumar un 80%, 85%. Ok. Um, so, mucho cuidado. Está bien que vengas todos los días. Perfecto. Yo sé que Tal vez me dirás, es que yo vivo lejos eh, de mi trabajo queda cerca de la casa y pues en todo lo que llego, vengo llegando a las ocho y media, ocho cuarenta y cinco y a esa hora me conecto. Wow, ok, cuidado, eh. O con quince minutos diarios que vayas perdiendo, al final no te va a cuadrar. Ok, good. Son, ¿cuántos okay. días tenemos de clase? ¿Alguien ya hizo la mate? Veinte. Veinte. Treinta horas. Veinte. Veinte días. 20 days. You know what? We have 25 days of classes in this module. Intermediate and advanced modules are 25 days. So 25 días de clases en los módulos intermedios y avanzados. What? I have yeah. a question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, what's your uh, question? And I'm sorry, let me correct yes. that. Déjenme corregir esto. Uh, 
Then where is it? Uh -huh. Do the question. Go ahead. We will have class tomorrow. Sorry. Do you? Do we have? Uh, we, we will have class tomorrow. No. No. It's just Monday through Friday. Oh. Ajá, siempre es de lunes a viernes. Y sí, chicos, son 25 días. Estoy casi que seguro. Uh, ¿Por qué? Porque este el módulo intermedio son cinco semanas. Y al parecer, pues no podemos extendernos más. O sea, antes de las ocho o después de las diez no se podría agregar una media hora, que es lo que normalmente se hacía en las horas um, presenciales. So, ok. Así les avisaron algunos. No sé si ya se habían enterado la mayoría que ya estaban en el curso. No, no. Oh my God. Okay, good. That's good. Don't worry. Y así son los módulos intermedios. Siempre son cinco semanas. Avanzados son cinco. Salvo que um, se esté haciendo una sola cosa. No sé. Que nos digan lo contrario. Okay. Yo les voy a comunicar. Voy a preguntar bien. Si no les han dicho algo, es me extraña. Eh? So let's move on. Let's continue. Teacher. Hey. Y con las tareas así como Ahora que se inició el martes, uh -huh. ¿qué pasa? Siempre se tienen que entregar el pier. El... <ríe> la diferencia es, no, fíjate que la diferencia, William, es que ahora el, el lunes es nuestro viernes. Y lo van a notar, ¿eh? conmigo van a notar que es viernes. Van a sentir que es viernes el lunes. Porque, eh, yeah, Monday is going to be like the fun day. Okay, we're going to explode everything that we have done during the unit. Yep. Everything that we see cover on a week, Monday is going to be like supercharged. Talk, 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 talk. Grammarly. Okay, Grammarly. We're going to play some games and everything. So, les ver super bien en este módulo, porque el lunes es el primer día de la semana, lo van a terminar el, el día, el primer día de la semana. Va a llegar super cansado del trabajo, detestando tu vida, como siempre, a los lunes. <risa> en la clase de inglés y vas a salir muriéndote del chiste a las 10 de la noche a acostarte, okay? See, so don't miss Monday. Don't miss Monday. It's going to be fun. Una última, última mm -hmm. duda. Yep. Eh, con respecto a las tareas también que mencionó el compañero. Mm -hmm. En la plataforma hay una página que me aparece, pero nada más con cinco preguntas. No sé si ando perdido. ¿Esta es toda la tarea que se tiene que enviar? Um, ya no había hecho la plataforma antes. Um, Juan Marcos. Varios no. No, no, no habían tenido acceso a la plataforma, ¿no? no I, I Varios que no, no. Eso es primera vez que accesan. Sí, Veamos, intermedio. Yo sí, yo sí he entrado a la plataforma, pero no sé. Siento, siento extraño que solo hayan como cinco preguntas y que eso sea toda la tarea. No sé si hay algún ítem que yo no he logrado ver donde hayan más ejercicios. Veamos, veamos. Eh, si lo notan, pues cada... cada... Sí. Ese es son Juan Marcos. Esas son las cinco preguntas de la tarea 1. Ah, oh, ok, ok. Sí, esas son. Ok, ok, sea que sea. Five questions. Ok, my house is. Mm -hmm. Right? Bigger. Bigger than yours. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> This red flower is. More beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful. So, these are comparative. <laughs> Let me check. Oh my God, come on, we're in Teacher. intermediate and these are multiple choice, really? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Up here. Roberto, uh-huh. No, who? But. Chicos, no digan solo teacher y, y, y se queden callados que me asustan. Come on. <laughs> come on, say teacher. <laughs> Siento que estoy viendo cosas. Uh -huh. Elvin. Who's a teacher? Come on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> to show contrast, what do we use to show contrast? Uh huh. But. 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 Let's see. Oh, it's not okay. It's not enabled. It's not enabled. I have to answer all of the questions. But yeah, it is. But to show contrast, mm -hmm. explains reason or purpose. For. For. Or, I agree with for. you. For. Okay. Indicates effect, result, or consequence. So. so, as a result, uh -huh, adds one thing to another. And. 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 
Can I use two options? Mm -hmm. No. no, just one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Presents an alternative or a choice. Or or or, or, or. yay, very good. You're awesome. And so on. Yes, Juan Marcos. And then you continue. There's next video. There's okay. Okay. Thank you. Hey, multiple choice. I can't believe it. Okay. Good. Okay, let's move on, guys. We have a lot to cover today. So, and just keep an eye next week. So, let's do something. Vamos a hacer un trato, eh? Ah, de caso que el los viernes es como el, la fecha límite. ¿Por qué? Le voy a ser bien honesto. Yo eh, el lunes tengo que quedarme después de la clase hace, um, subiendo sus notas. Es decir, eso que ustedes ven en la plataforma es una cosa. Ustedes lo completan, llenan una base de datos que yo tengo que jalar y subirla a otra base de datos para que el martes a las 8 de la mañana eso ya esté listo para que alguien de administración lo suba en Safor y diga, mire, qué bonito van los niños, ¿ya? ¿Ok? It's just control, so help me help you. <laughs> Ayúdenme a ayudarles, ¿ok? Just do it. As soon as you can. After every class, de hecho, antes de la clase les decía que lleven a cabo esos ejercicios para venir a la clase solo a practicarlos, ¿ok? So let's move it. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Read the following ex strategies. I'm sorry, read the following strategies to introduce a new menu item. Check the box next to the strategies you will consider implementing. Mm -hmm. So let's do this together. Y perdón, primera vez que hago eso con ustedes, no sé si algún teacher lo había hecho. En su menú de Zoom hay una um, opción que dice stamp o estampilla es un pequeño chequecito ahí aparece una flecha, un cheque una X, una estrella, un corazón un question mark ok, so let's choose one of those just one ok, quiero que elijas uno de esos stamps y lo tengas a la mano de tu dedo, es decir at your fingertip ok just have it ready Vamos a dar nuestra opinión poniendo todos nuestro stamp donde creamos conveniente. ¿Caret? ¿Dónde está eso? No sé. Yes. Si está en el celular, hay tres puntitos. Yes. Options. Yes. Got it? Yeah, Carla y Janet. Yeah. Ok, y dice la Eliana. Uh -huh. Carla y Janet, I see you here. Ok, so let's do it together. Let's see. Strategies. The first strategy to introduce a new menu item, provide free food samplings of your new product. If you agree with that, go ahead. Add new items to your website. Mm, you have a website, okay. Use social network sites to share the information about your new product. Twitter, Facebook, mm, whatever, right? Advert. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, please. Help me, help me reading someone. Um, Alan, go. Okay, we're gone. Advertise the new products in the white space of the receipts. Yes, please go ahead. Advertise the products in the white space of the receipt. Mm. Okay. Advertise the products in the white space of the receipt. So every time you give a receipt on the back, try or a new pizza, try or new pupusas. Okay. And the last one? You were promotional offer that includes the new items to customer after a recent visit. A recent visit. Good. Okay, go ahead. Bien, feel free. Siéntanse libres de manchar la, la pantalla poniendo su opción en el recuadro. Si quieren algo más grande. Okay, no, that's good. Okay, Alexander says use social network sites to share the information. It's social sure media. Don't have the option. You don't have the option. Are you on the cell phone? I don't know. Yeah. Roberto Luis, you're around. Okay, Evelyn, 
Arcides, a ver chicos, los voy a forzar a hacer esto porque tenés que adaptarte a la tecnología. Tenés que adaptarte a la tecnología. Eso es importantísimo. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Miguel Ángel, ok. Provide free food. Samplings, that's a good strategy. Okay. Use social network sites. Vamos chicos, trasteen, como decimos en Salvador. No, no tengan Yo no miedo. hay excepción. ¿Dónde está? A ver, alguien que esté en el celular que pueda... Dice anotar, Yo... donde dice anotar, ahí te pregunto. No, es que, es que estoy en la computadora. Ajá, oh. pero es arriba, donde el teacher está compartiendo, dice ver opciones. Y oh, ahí dice, you... an, dice anotar. Entonces ahí te salen las opciones. An, si está en inglés, dice anot, annotate. Options, annotate. Salir view options. Ajá. Uh -huh. View options. Ajá, uh -huh. view options. Annotate. Fatima, if you have this request on remote control, no. Y en stamp. Stamp. Ya, ya mancharon. Stamp. It's okay, no se preocupe si manchan la pantalla, no importa. Yo quiero que ustedes se adecúen <laughs> a esto. Vamos. Ya le voy a hacer. No, no se vaya a hacer dibujitos, por favor. Ok. <risa> Solo ubíquense, ¿ok? Esto es importantísimo, no tienen idea. Y, y lo van a ver el lunes. El lunes van a ver qué importante es adaptarse a la tecnología. En lo que estamos haciendo esto, ¿ok? Ya se ubicaron en el espacio de su pantalla. Ubíquense en el espacio de su pantalla. Ubíquense. Ok. Bien, vamos a hacer esto de nuevo. Voy a borrar la pizarra. Quiero que todos volvamos a dar nuestra opinión. Vamos a dar su opinión otra vez. Ahora sí, en el recuadro donde toca, ya se adecuaron con su dedo. Let's go. No. Dígame. William. Alguien de, que tiene celular lo ha podido hacer. Yo no, no encuentro. Oh, sí. In my case, yo estoy en el celular y no he podido. Yo salí de nuevo, no se te entendió, perdón. Uh, I am from the cell phone and I couldn't do it. I have been trying, but I cannot find it. Okay, alguien que está en el teléfono. I will, share, I will to share in WhatsApp group. The screenshots. Okay, perfect. Yeah, Good okay. idea. Thank you. Teamwork. Mm. I like that. Sí, igual. Eh, yo voy a ver cómo hago para pasárselos. Porque... Pero sí es importante. Y le voy a rogar algo. Eh, bueno, díganme. Solo díganme yo una vez en orden. Okay. O su nombre nada más. ¿Quién no tiene computadora para accesar a la clase el lunes? Yo. Uno. Uh -huh. Yo. Dos. Uh -huh. Yo. Three, four. Ok. Ya llevo cuatro. Yo. Cinco. Oh, oh. Ok. That's it. Ok. Cinco de veinte. Eh... Bien, vamos a considerar entonces eso. Es muy importante que yo lo sepa. Bien, ok. So let's see your options. We have provide free food samplings of your new product. That's one, two, three, four. Said that, ok. The third option, use social network sites to share the information about your new product. Ok, marketing on social networks, ok. Advertise the products in the white space of the receipts. Not so much. And only one. Give a promotional offer that includes the new items to customers after a recent visit. Okay. So on your next visit, try this product with a 50% discount. On your next visit. Mm, What do you think, Jocelyn? Don't you think that's a, that will give you a negative impact? That's in the pan, teacher. Yeah, because you will go like customer, right? Hey, why didn't you give me the, the promotional right now? I just ate. <laughs> I didn't have too much money, man. I missed that promotion. I will never come back here. I can't believe it. I guess that will be no idea because he's a customer and I went to it that and I paid the full amount and mm -hmm. then someone tells me, hey, because you tried the new menu today, you will have the 50% for the next visit. Oh, come on. Maybe I will not come back. <laughs> you got it. So, That's the point. Okay. Good job, guys. Okay. That's it. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, remember Sandra? Um, okay. Okay, I can see your names, by the way. <laughs> If you tap on the screen, <laughs> let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay. Got you. <laughs> yeah, someone feel free. Okay. Don't worry, guys. These are examples of the steps in an action plan to introduce a new product to the menu. Letter mm. A What action or change will happen? Who will carry it out? Who will carry it? When will it take place and for how long? What resources are needed to carry out the change? Communication, who should know what? Okay. Number the following steps of the action plan. So we, this is an action plan stage by stage. Help me, what action or change will happen? Okay, what action or change will happen? What are we planning to do? That's the first thing. What's the plan? For example, the drink will be available during during Valentine's Day. Uh, is when will it take place? Or um, for how long? C. Letter C. When will it take place? And for how long? You say is number one. The first, yes. The first one. Okay, good. Got it. Let's see. So this will be C. Okay. Got you. Good. What action or change will happen? That's the easiest one. A new drink is going to be introduced to the menu okay that's letter a perfect okay uh huh what would be letter b the chef creator of the receipt i'm sorry create Create the receipt for the drink. The drink, yeah. The chef created the receipt for the drink. This letter B. Who will carry it out? The chef is letter B. The chef created the receipt, okay. Got you. Okay, so this will be letter B. Good. Okay. What is letter D? What resources we need to carry out the change? The tight team board and staff will be in communication. Uh, come again, Jocelyn. I'm sorry. Letter C is uh, advertising. Yeah. Advertising board and the staff will stay in communication to carry out and the advertising the staff will introduce us the new drink. That will be D. That will be C. Let you, me say, you say that C. When will it take place and for how long? Advertising? No. no? No, this is letter D for me. Oh, letter D. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, what resources are needed to carry out the change? Advertising board and staff will stay in communication to carry out the steps to complete the introduction of the drink. Hmm. I believe this is E. Yes. Yeah. E. Yes, I agree with you. And this is D. Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. Uh -huh. Because the staff will stay in communication. The staff will stay in communication. What you have done is look for keywords, and that's good. You have looked for keywords. What keywords? Okay, carry out, right? Stay in communication. Okay. And where is that? 
communication. Okay, good, makes sense, but carry out is also in another place. So what action or change will happen? A new drink is going to be introduced to the menu. Who will carry it out? Carry it out. The chef created the receipt for the drink, the manager approved it, and the advertising staff will be responsible for market to market the product. Okay. When will it take place and for how long the drink will be available during Valentine's Day? Perfect. In a promotion that continues through February. Letter D. What resources are needed to carry out the change? The manager requests it, requested, requested extra funding for this project. The drink is made with herbs that are somewhat rare, but they are not very expensive. Okay. And last one, communication. Who should know what? Advertising board. Staff will stay communication. They'll carry out. Okay. And so on. You got it, right? It's just logical steps. Okay, remember this will be in the video. Okay, well, guys, I want to move on. And then we will come back to carry out to carry out this step. I will leave it pending for now. Let me raise the board one more time. <clears throat> okay. Oh, give me a second. I need to check something here. doesn't make sense okay i'm sorry guys i'm just checking something on my lesson plan because today's class had to do with something else and i'm i'm gonna follow it if not it will make sense so let's talk about something you should already know how to use might and could do you know about this Okay, if you don't know about this, say no. No. No? Not really. Okay. Uh, I think that, yeah, I think that um, in the previous class, we discussed about the use of could, but we didn't compare the use of could. Um, might. May. Might. Might. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, you're right. Some models are studied in the basic modules, especially in three and four. Three module three and four, you see some models. Okay, what's the difference between could and might? In this session, we're gonna cover this really quick and we're gonna treat could for suggestions. Of course, there are many uses for could, a lot of uses for could. Conditionals using could conditionals using might but right now let's focus on this too could for us right now will be for making suggestions okay making suggestions we use suggest we just could okay now might is often used with want or like to add politeness politeness so we are still studying models as such, as models, not as conditionals. Okay, not as conditionals. We're not studying models as conditionals yet. This is just purely models. And as the name says, a model is to sound more polite. So you could to make suggestions, you could talk to your manager about bounding products for the promotional event. You could generate business in a community event. You could, I'm suggesting you something. Um, I don't know. Okay. 
you could paint your wall in black to have a font, you know, to have a background when you are in the Zoom class. That's a suggestion. Give me another suggestion. If your camera is off, you will be the chosen one. Sabrina Mabel. And then I have Miriam and Carolina. Give me an example with could. Use, use it to give me a suggestion. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. you, could. you could do more exercise for your health. You could do more exercise for your health. Ahora, super rápido. Esto es porque conoces a la persona o se le nota que lo que le está sugiriendo lo va a alcanzar. Podrías. Okay. Good. We're talking about the probability of the capability of someone. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. You could do more exercise. You could drink more water. Uh huh. Another one. You could be at work could, on time. You could be at work on time. On you time. Could, okay. You could be at work on time. Definitely. Just wake up earlier. Uh huh. Marian? Miriam? Sorry. Miriam Carolina. You could, uh, you, you could, I work on Saturday. You could work on Saturdays. You could work on Saturdays. Okay. Um, regla general de todos los modales. Después del modal va el verbo en su forma base. Repito, después del verbo va en su forma base el siguiente verbo. Después del modal va un verbo en su forma base, no ING, no pasado ni nada, no va un otro sujeto ni nada. Los modales son su propio auxiliar, por lo tanto no necesito do, da, does, ningún otro auxiliar. Ok, cualquier modal lo tratas de la misma manera. But for now, let's continue with could. You got it? Could is easy. Let's go with might. And in this context, might is often used with want or like to add politeness. You might want, you might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. You might like to schedule a promotional event along a holiday like Black Friday. Okay. Cuando alguien te dice, you might want, you might like, te lo está diciendo porque sabe, te está haciendo una sugerencia, porque sabe de buena fuente que te conviene hacerlo. ¿Ok? Debería. Mm, quizá querrías. Uh -huh. Quizá te gustaría. ¿Ya? Yeah. Hey, you might want not to go home tonight. I saw your wife today. You might want not to go home. You might want not to go home. ¿Ya? Yeah? Mm, you might like to save some money. You might want. You might like to save some money. Your kid, your kid is going to school next year. You might like to save some money. Okay, a good suggestion. Uh huh. Let's focus on that. You might want. You might like. And by focus, I want to say. Look at the structure. You have a subject, okay? The model might. We're suggesting someone, so we use the second person, okay? And we can use want or like. Now, keep an eye, keep an eye on this. You need the preposition to, and then a verb on its base form. Okay. You might want to have, you might like to schedule. You might want to eat earlier. Your stomach is gonna hurt. 
at night. You're going to get a stomach ache if you eat too much. Okay, give me examples. You might like want to, to take English, English class. You, you might, might want... like to. You might like to take English class. Okay, you might like to take English class. You might want to improve your vocabulary, your English vocabulary. Good. Ahora eso se podría sonar rudo. Viniendo de un americano hacia ti, créeme lo que vas a sentir que, que me dijo. Ah, así, <ríe> ya me ha pasado, o sea, créeme lo. Así como que te están diciendo mejorar, uh -huh. pero como sarcásticamente, <ríe> tenés uh -huh. que mejorar. Eh. Exacto, that's the point. Eh, en este contexto, cuidado, eh. suena muy polite, pero es como cuando alguien te quiere decir algo muy, de muy buena manera, pero es algo bien negativo. Ok, hay eh, muchos americanos que así son. Es just in a rude way. Okay, you might like to learn some better English. Okay, okay, uh huh. You might want to go to bed earlier. There's traffic tomorrow. Okay, Rina. Try. Sorry, teacher. Um, I attend. Oh. <laughs> no, just follow the formula. You might want to. You might like to. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. Okay. Now let's replace all of this. You might want to. Not this. Let's replace this with another verb. Help me, Rina. You might want to. You might want to. A verb. Um, go, go to the, to the school. You might want to go to school. You might want to go to school. Ok. Puede que quieras ir a la escuela. Puede que te guste. You might want to go to school. Puede que quieras ir a la escuela. Ok. Puede que te guste ir a la escuela. You might like to go to school. Hey, who knows? Who knows? You might like to go to school. Ok. Porque ya tienes dos años. En caso de mi hijo, that's a clear example. Ya tiene 12 y hay un año encerrado. Bueno, you might like to go to school. Make new friends, new girls. You know, 12, you're 12. I mean, I talk to him every day. You have to go to school. You need friends. Nos hemos hecho demasiado buenos amigos. Estamos yendo al gimnasio juntos porque está muy gordito. Yo necesito rebajar también. So, he's like, oh, come on. Solo hablando de Nintendo, pasamos. Ajá. Uh -huh. So, my one to... To... <laughs> yeah, you might want to go to the gym. That's what I told him. And he said, to the gym? What is a gym? And I was like, okay, look, this is a gym. And I started showing him videos, pictures. And he said, yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> the first day for 30 minutes, he was in the treadmill. He was on the treadmill walking for 15 minutes. He was like, yes, yes, daddy, let's do it. Let's do it. 15 minutes later, he was like, I need water. He may say, I need a hot dog. I'm like, what the hot dog right now? It's so funny. It was crazy. So yeah, that's too much. So he needs friends. Okay. You might want to bring, you might want to bring a laptop on Mondays. It's gonna be crazy. <laughs> If you can bring a laptop on Monday. Porque las clases son más participativas en el sentido virtual. Trato de usar plat plataformas participativas virtuales. Ok, como Google Jams, que son pizarras participativas. Vaya. 
¿Ok? Juegos en los que ocupas el celular, de hecho, para contestar preguntas así. Juegos de competencia. So, let's try it. Let's get ready for Monday. Let's see if it works. Ok. Now you have an exercise, guys. Let's do this together. You have five minutes to go in your notebook and complete these exercises. Look at the examples. Remember the structure. Subject, could, verb. Subject, could, verb, complement. Okay, same. Subject, might, want or like, to, and verb. Okay? Give it a try on your notebook. Two minutes, two minutes to midnight. By the way, the commercial, I have a commercial. Today is Rina Marisabel Alvarez de Chavez opportunity. Oh, Rina, yes, good. You're staying 10 minutes, 10 minutes after the class, okay? Okay. So remember, it's could or might. One minute. Señores, por Hi. favor, enciéndame sus cámaras, por favor. No se apaguen las cámaras, es importante. Ok, y atentos a la clase, no estén acostados, recostados, se van a dormir. I am, send, I am sending to you my answers. Oh, don't worry. Let's do it here. Ok, let's see. 
So give me the first one. Might. Might? Alexander says it's might. Me too. It's might. Me too. Juan Marcos, okay. Yeah. Yes. Do you agree? Yes, I, ag I agree. You agree? Okay, good. Yes. So the boss might. Might. Yes. Okay. The boss might want to start the event, the event, the event with a speech, with a speech, with a speech. The boss might want to start the event with a speech. The sales team. Cool. 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 Repeat. Cool. Repeat. Cool. 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 The food with collectible mugs. One more time. <laughs> the sales team could try to bundle up the food with collectible mugs. Mugs. Number four. The manager. Mike. Okay. The manager might like to launch a new line of kids' meals. The manager might like to launch a new line of kids' meals. Kids' meals. Okay. Number five, the event. Cool. 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 The event could be scheduled be. for Christmas to increase sales. The event could be scheduled for Christmas to increase sales. Scheduled. 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 Okay. Scheduled. 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 Perfect, Carolina. Good job, Carol. Okay, last, Carolina, number six. The store might want to use a loyalty offering for people who do business with us frequently. Oh, good. Great job. The store might want to use a loyalty offering for people who do business with our with us frequently. Okay. You got it. Okay. So for now, let's stay with these two structures. Practice them. It should be very simple. Make more examples because tomorrow we're going to open the class with this with good and might. Next Monday. Next, did I say next next class? Yeah, next Monday. <laughs> yeah, on Monday. Okay, we're gonna open with this and then we're gonna move on with a lot of exercises. Remember, it's very important for you to practice what's on your book, but as well, the grammar. Okay, I have a question for you. Have you been practicing the way I told you? Anybody, have you practiced what I told you? Every now and then. Hey, good, every now and then. What have you been doing? Getting verbs and words? Yeah, verbs. Okay, good, good, good. Hey, what about comparatives? Are you using comparatives, guys? Yes. 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 Sure. Come on. I know you're falling asleep. Don't worry. Me too. I'm tired. I have to work tomorrow at 7 a.m. Teach from 7 to 12 and then work on the call center from 2.30 to 10 p.m. And then on Sunday, again, 7 to 12.10. And then on, on Sunday, I have to play softball with my kids. At the park, it's crazy. Well, okay. I don't know how you do that. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, me neither. I don't know how do, how you do it. How do I do it? I just I love it. I I get tired. Believe me, I get really tired sometimes. But it's a matter of focusing and relaxing, 
no clavarse, como decimos en buen salvadoreño. Pensar que ahorita está cipotón, ya tengo 40, pero me siento cipotón y, y pues hay que echarle mientras que tengamos energías, ¿no? Y tengamos vida, no tengo salud, ¿no? Bueno, mucha gente piensa, ah, tengo salud, me voy a comer 10 pupusas, nada, me voy a enfermar, estoy bien. <ríe> y en lo contrario, ¿verdad, Doc? Estoy bien de salud, ah, pues ahorita voy a trabajar más, right? Todo está aquí, señores. Let's do it. Ok, let me check the attendance one last time and I'll see you on Monday. Ok, Ada Azucena Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Thank you. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Carla Ivania Cabrera Serrano. Carlos Armando Duarte. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martínez. Present. Aguizabal. Aguiz, perdón, Aguizabal. 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 Ahí está. Ok. Elvin Arcides Aguizabal Martínez. Me lo voy a aprender. Yes. Atima Ifegenia López Ramos. Present. Thank you. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Ok. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Okay. Carla Janet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Present. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Present. Roberto Luis Umaña Orellana. Present. Sabrina Mabel Latín Castro. Present teacher. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. I'm here. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Alfredo Sandoval Sarabia. José Ángel Martínez Hernández. And Juan Marcos Guzmán. Present. Ok. Les voy a pedir que se queden conmigo dos minutos más. Mientras tanto, vamos a ver algo rápido. Uh, bueno, dos cosas. Uno, es posible lo imposible. Si tienen tiempo durante el fin de semana, miren eso con su familia. Un video de 19 minutos en YouTube. Es posible lo imposible. Omar Villalobos. Es posible lo imposible. Míralo. Si tenés, estás casado o tenés alguien a quien levantar los ánimos en la casa, hace de caso que estás en la audiencia y miren ese video juntos, ¿ok? Hagan de caso que ustedes son parte del público y la ponencia. Si el ponente dice, si Omar dice, sacale la lengua al helado, que así lo dice, hacelo, ¿ok? Y vas a entender mucho y vamos a tratar de adaptar ese video a la clase, ¿ok? De hacer una clase más dinámica del porqué de las cosas, porque el teacher se pasa riendo y vive dirigiendo a las personas y es más como, ¿ya? Vas a entender mucho. En, en eso me base para cambiar mi manera de dar clases y siempre voy a tratar de adaptarme a eso, ¿ok? So, let's do that. And number two, um, bien, para el lunes, al mediodía, para el lunes, al mediodía, ya tiene que estar la plataforma hasta el ejercicio 1.9. Repito, 1.9, yes. I can inside the platform. Si no puedes accesar a la plataforma, ya lo intentaste una vez, dos veces, tres veces, ya bloqueaste la cuenta. Hay que esperar 24 horas para volver a intentarlo. Ok, ya lo hice. Dicho. Ah, pues ahí en el chat de WhatsApp están los logos de Regal International, de inglés corporativo. Y tú puedes contactar a cualquiera de ellos ahí. Jason, Jimmy, ya, a Elena, para que te desbloqueen la cuenta o que te ayuden a accesar. Ok. Ok. Es sencillo. Su correo con el que se inscribieron y los números del 1 al 5, ¿verdad? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. ¿Y pide no. cambiar la contraseña? No. no. Ok. No, no, no. Perfecto. No. Excelente. So, tan fácil como es, ¿ok? I'll see you on Monday. Take care, good night, and good fight. Good night. Okay. Good night. Bye, good night. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your yeah. weekend. Yes, okay. enjoy your weekend. 
Not you, Rina. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Take care, Juan Marcos. Bye bye. Bye, Ada. Bye. I'll help you. <laughs> there you go. Carolina, Carolina. Okay. Ser quedado dormida la compañía. <laughs> A veces pasa eso. La gente se queda dormida ya al final si, si no estamos chispas y se quedan ahí. So, um, Miss Álvarez, señora Álvarez, este espacio es para usted. Son 10 minutos para que usted me diga, mire, yo me siento. Eh, bien, eh, siento que estoy haciendo todo de mi parte, pero esto no me parece, siento que me hace falta esto, o siento que la clase de hecho le hace falta esto, o que me recomienda, lo que usted quiera en relación a la clase o a su aprendizaje en inglés, siéntase libre de preguntarme lo que quería en mi, en mi capacidad poder ayudarle en lo que pueda, para que redundancia. El micrófono. Perdón. <risa> Vaya, eh, como mencioné, ¿verdad? A ver, quizá me frustra un poco el hecho de no a veces captar cuando están hablando, porque al leerlo entiendo, al escribirlo, o sea, perfecto. Me falta bastante la pronunciación, porque pronunciación y es, digamos, escucha, es lo que quizás no he... No he logrado hasta el momento, este, digamos, afinar o ponerle mucha atención. Yo creo que ese es mi error, no poner mucho, no le he dedicado tiempo. Esa es la verdad. Seamos honestos, esa es la verdad. Porque en sí, todo el material desde el nivel 1 que he estado, excelente, excelente. O sea, quien sea lo haya dado, para mí he aprendido mucho, mucho. Pero sí, el problema es ese, que no logro distinguir a la hora de escuchar. Yo creo que no soy muy familiarizada, pero es por eso. Porque casi no. Pero voy a intentar, por lo menos ya a partir del martes yo dije, no, voy a comenzar a escuchar aunque sea música en inglés. Aunque la música tiende a veces a confundir un poco porque no todos lo cantan igual. Entonces es mejor quizás escuchar una película en inglés, quizás, que yo siento que a mí me funciona un poquito. O, no sé, escuchar ponencias a veces en inglés, videos en inglés de personas que están explicando ciertos temas de mi interés. Algo muy importante que acaba de decir, su interés. A ver, fíjese que a mí me pasaba algo en el 2016, Reina. Yo pesaba 230 libras. Trabajé en call center, ya llevaba 12 años trabajando en call centers. Estaba harto, pero harto ya de mí mismo, porque un problema tengo yo es que me echo la culpa a mí mismo de, de todo lo que me pasa en la vida. Mucha gente dice que es algo bueno, porque no ando culpando a nadie por lo que hago, ¿no? Al final el culpable soy yo, y es la realidad. Al final entendí yo en el 2016 que era yo el que tenía que hacer algo, el que tenía yo que tenía que cerrar la boca para no comer. <risa> Sí. decía un meme por ahí que te voy a dar la clave del éxito para rebajar ok, repite conmigo mira hacia la derecha, mira hacia la izquierda y cuando te ofrezcan comida siempre haz ese ejercicio ok <risa> cada vez y eso me sirvió, me dio risa y es cierto, sirvió me empecé a convencer de que en definitiva era yo el que tenía que hacer algo y lo hice no sé ni cómo, bueno, sí sé cómo. Todos los días me repetía como loco en voz alta en el baño. Me convencí a mí mismo, porque alguien me lo enseñó, uh, me convencí a mí mismo que podía alcanzar lo que yo quisiera. Empecé a leer un montón de libros, uh, tenía alguien que me apoyaba, claro, o sea, palabras motivacionales, palabras nada más. Pero hacía uno, si uno tiene a la par a alguien que le dice, ¡y qué bien hiciste eso! ¡Súper bien! Gratificarse uno mismo, hasta eso lo hago todavía. Uh -huh. Miro el espejo, ¡y qué chido te salió eso! Debería de mejorar esto y esto y esto. Yo solo me doy sugerencias, miro mis videos y digo, ¡qué feo moviste la boca ahí! ¡Uy, no, no vuelvas a hacer eso! Empiezo a practicar yo solo. Entonces, uno solo se autoayuda. 
Entonces, uh, pero usted está bien, yo la miro sonriendo. Hay personas que, mire, yo le juro, <risa> tengo una alumna en la tarde que... Todo en la clase, así, yo trato de ser la que hable y la presiono frente al grupo, la presiono ella sola, le he escrito. Una persona con apatía, y eso sí ya es de cada quien. Cada quien tiene su carácter. Sí. Entonces, pero lo importante es lo que usted ha mencionado, que ha reconocido varios factores. ¿Por qué no empezamos a atacar uno por uno? Les sigo comentando, en el 2016 yo me hice una introspección y dije, bueno, que está mal conmigo. Ah, pues que soy muy perezoso, desorganizado. No sé, me empecé a analizar. Me tomó tres semanas. Tres semanas identificar mis problemas, porque lo más difícil es verse uno mismo. ¿O no? Entonces, sí. ya cuando lo identifiqué, leí un libro y empecé a entender que tenía un niño interior, que tenía que pedirle perdón. Y empecé a pedirme perdón, a chillar hasta decir ya no dos semanas después de estarme hablando en, en, frente al espejo. Y entonces empecé a cambiar. Y logré rebajar 50 libras. ¿Cómo lo hice? Todavía me quedo, porque todos los días me repetía, ¿verdad? yo peso 170 libras, es decir, llegué a pesar como 180, peso 170 libras para tal fecha, para el 16 de, abril, de diciembre de 2016, y así todos los días me lo repetía, y hasta me decía, tengo el six pack, y tengo el six pack, no llegué al six pack, pero boté la panza, híjole, y cuando me vine a dar cuenta, porque no me miraba en el espejo, no quería volver a ver en el espejo, me pesaba de vez en cuando, y me alegraba, pero ya no quería ni pesar, me quería darme un solo sorpresón. Cuando me vine a dar cuenta, lloré. Y Dios mío, no lo puedo creer. Lo que he logrado por estarme hablando a mí mismo, por creer nada más y tener la, la confianza en mí mismo. Entonces, preste mucha atención a eso. Porque lo, una de las cosas que yo me di cuenta que había hecho ya después, reflexionando en lo, el proceso de cuatro meses, me di cuenta de que lo único que había hecho yo era organizarme. Lo primero que hice fue agarrar mi calendario y decir, bueno, ¿y qué es lo que hago a tal hora? Tal cosa. ¿Qué hago después? Tal cosa. Bueno, ¿qué es lo que más hago en el día? En mi caso eso dije, ¿qué es lo que más hago en el día? Trabajar, dar clases. Voy a buscar más clases. Y me voy a enfocar solo en dar clases. Llegué al punto que tenía un horario específico para comer. Sabía que tenía 10 minutos para comer en ese momento. ¿Qué iba a comer? Pues solo cosas buenas. O sea, algo, fruta, algo, lo que fuera. La cosa era meterle algo al estómago, pero no la base de edad que estaba acostumbrado entonces eso me ayudó eso me ayudó gracias a Dios entonces lo mismo con ustedes les digo yo organicen su tiempo hay que ser realistas también ustedes mamá supongo pues, es bien difícil yo tengo tres y hay que dedicarles tiempo pero entonces a qué horas tengo tiempo digo yo de hoy en día así que después de la pandemia y toda la crisis que nos vino pues después de la clase terminó las 10 y 10 de 10 y 10 a 11 y media, subo los videos. En esa hora prácticamente me dedico a, a calificar tareas, a hacer algo que tenga pendiente de las clases. Eso sí, ley de oro, un cuarto a las 12 ya estoy dormido. No sé cómo, pero tengo que estar dormido a esa hora. Pongo los audífonos o algo. Nunca lo logro, pero igual. Ya más o menos 12 ya me estoy quedando dormido, 2 y media. Y 4 y media suena la alarma y otra vez para arriba. ¿Por qué? Porque okay. su cuerpo es eso. Usted se tiene que programar poquito a poco, pero organícese, mm -hmm. organícese. Ocupe el celular, póngale eh, horarios al celular, alarmas. Perdón. Esta página que le estoy compartiendo ahí en el Zoom es un una, um, índice, es un índice. Un índice de 250 audios. Esa página es buenísima. Quien la hizo, no sé si se da cuenta de lo que tiene, pero es algo muy bonito. Son 250 audios con su eh, transcripción. Son conversaciones entre dos personas. ¿Qué va a hacer con esto? Sugerencia. Esto es extra, ¿eh? fuera de la plataforma es lo más importante. Pero si usted quiere mejorar su habla, su escucha, está fácil. Agarre indiscriminadamente un audio a la semana. Escríbalo en su cuaderno o imprímalo si quiere. Vea si puede descargar el audio. Creo que ahí aparecen tres puntitos a la par del, del audio. Y descárguelo o grábelo en el celular. ¿Ok? Ande con ustedes o siempre. Ande con ustedes o siempre. Paso uno. 
por dos, tres días. Yo no hablo, solo leo y escucho. Ojo, Rina, mi cerebro se va a dar duro por querer leer esas palabras porque ya se pueden las letras en español. Se va a decir yo en lugar de you, por ejemplo. Va a decir jump en lugar de jump. Entonces tengo que callarlo y solo escuchar en mi cabeza y leer las letras. Mi vista se va a adaptar, el cerebro va a entender y sí funciona. Cuarto día ya empiezo a repetir como yo escucho, no como leo, de hecho. Ya, uh -huh. Y ahí empiezo a hacer el ejercicio, me voy a acostar y empiezo a escuchar el audio. Ok, le doy play, le pongo pausa, repito, estoy pensando en lo que estáis. Le va a ayudar muchísimo. La regla de oro, yo no traduzco esto hasta el último día de la medianoche puedo traducirlo. Uh -huh. Porque español ya sé, ¿para qué quiero saber qué dice ahí? Uh -huh. Claro, voy a tener una idea, porque hay palabras que ya medio las conozco. Pero el uh -huh. punto es llegar a la capacidad de hacer esto. Pasó la semana, a ver qué tal lo hice. Voy a leer nada más lo que dice aquí, entonando como estaba en el audio. Agarro mi celular, me grabo, lo leo, y ahora le doy play al audio del celular y el audio de, de, de acá de la página. ¡Puc! Y empiezo a autocriticar. Digo, hey, dígame esa palabra. Esa otra. Hey, qué chido me salió esa. Y empiezo a, a, a darme dulce yo solo. Y a darme cuenta de mis errores. Eso se llama autocorrección. Si usted logra la autocorrección, vamos con todo. Entonces, eso funciona. Intentar, es una buena idea. Lo voy a intentar así. No sí. lo había intentado. El problema es que yo... A veces tengo lo que se dice, traducir. A veces uno se, por la curiosidad, lo traduce. Y es voy normal. Y hacer por cinco días. Es uh -huh. normal. Lo mismo puede hacer, el mismo proceso puede hacer con las canciones. Pero la cosa es uh -huh. hacer algo. Cualquier paso por pequeño que sea, uh -huh. parecerá ridículo en el momento, pero a la larga tiene una gran recompensa. Ok. Uh -huh. Ánimo, ánimo. Uh -huh. Ok. Que pasen una uh -huh. feliz noche y cualquier Gracias, cosa ahí igual. estoy. Me puede escribir si necesita ayuda o algún consejo más. Oye, good Muy night. Amable. Take Gracias. care. Feliz bye night. bye. Good night.